Hey guys, welcome back. This is Command Block here. Today, I'm going to be telling you how I normally would manage my inventory. It's a little kind of like an update video, but really isn't. Uh, but it's more of a how I manage my actual inventory. So, how I normally would have my inventory. I normally have a pick right here. I would have a shovel right in the next slot. And then a sword in the third slot. Sometimes I will have a shovel, sometimes I won't. But I usually have one because it helps speed up digging gravel and whatnot. Next of all, I would have a bow or a crossbow if I was in a later version of Minecraft. Which by the time you're watching this in Minecraft 1.14 1. has come out, you probably are going to know that I would probably use a crossbow as well. But only if I had a crossbow. Bows are easier to craft, but uh, crossbows are way easier. Or, like, a lot better. I have a diamond, or I have an axe. Maybe not necessarily a diamond axe, but something along those lines. And then the last four slots. This slot here, I reserve for torches. I try not to fill it up with anything else. And then the last three slots are either used for building blocks, food, or potions. So, in a fight, like if I was preparing for battle, and only for battle, I would still probably have my pickaxe. Uh, maybe not my shovel, though. Definitely my sword, bow, and whatnot, so I would free up an extra space. So then I'd probably use two spaces for my um, potions. Uh, some for a uh, brighter steak. I'm going to use steak in this example here. And then, uh, let's do like a, a dirt, for example, for scaffolding. And then, that's basically how my everyday inventory is going to look. Except that I would normally also have armor. And uh, if I just... Wherever the armor tab is, this is it. Uh, I'm going to put my pants on. And of course, I have my armor on. And also, if I had it, a shield, uh, which I would put in my left hand to block any of those attacks. And I also will either replace... I may either have a diamond sword, or I may have a trident, depending on which one of those I uh, have at hand. But... I'm probably going to have both. So sometimes the um, trident will replace the axe and whatnot, but I try to keep only two weapons at a time. I also have like, spare weapons up here and whatnot, as well as tools. If I was preparing for a mining expedition, I probably wouldn't have a bow, but I'd have a diamond sword and I'd have some mining essentials. If I was planning on gardening, I'd get a hoe, for example. I'd definitely have that above the axe. I'd also would normally have a water bucket. That would I sometimes that would if I didn't have like brewing potions yet and I wasn't on a mining expedition. Like if I was on a mining expedition but didn't have potions yet, I'd probably definitely fill this water bucket here. Uh weapons uh for like bucket I'd probably uh, have a lava bucket right near the water bucket, as well as a uh, milk bucket as well to nullify any potion effects. I tend not to use my potions unless I ha have them. If I'm not allowed to like dig or anything like that, like if I can't dig with a diamond axe or whatever, I'm probably going to have only like one weapon in this slot here and then a bow, and the rest of it's just going to be like a bunch of other like potions or food or whatever. But that was in full battle mold mode. But that is somewhat how I managed my inventory. The rest of the inventory here would be filled with extra tools, potions, food and whatnot. But the re real reason why I made this video here was because at this time I have just hit 64 subscribers. And in Minecraft terms, if you have like 64 tor torches, you have the maximum amount you can hold in one stack. 
So technically, I actually have a stack of subscribers. No, I will not start. Uh, the current stack of subscribers will continue to grow. Unlike in Minecraft, where if it was like exactly like Minecraft, then I probably have to get a new channel to, you know, have all that stuff gone. But I am thanking you very much for subscribing to my channel, checking it out and whatnot for more tutorials as well as entertainment coming up. And yeah, I I'm glad that you have all supported me throughout all my all the time I have in YouTube. So I want to thank you all very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video that I create. Bye!